Hi, FME users. Um, I'm back with another live recording of uh, FME uh, use. Um, today, well, last week you might have noticed somebody, somebody sort of tagged me in a discussion about validating CSV files. And I thought, well, hey, wouldn't it be good if we could have a transformer that did CSV file validation? at the same time as it was reading it. So that's what I'm going to try. And I tried a couple of things last week and I thought I found a, well, a, a place for improvement, but I chatted with our developers and I think, well, they gave me a clue as to what I can do, but there was also something else. I'll just demonstrate anyway. I'm adding a CSV reader. Oops, actually, no, I want to do a feature reader. And I'm going to read CSV data. And what I've done is I've gone into this file. I'm not going to use the parking tickets one because it's way too big. It's 24 megabytes, half a million records, which is just a little bit too big for just quick demos. So I've got crime records, um, parameters. That's very weird. That was from a previous workspace. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna check how many records I've got in there, 24,000, okay. So I want it to scan all of those records. Somewhere in there, there is a problem. I, I went in and changed um, a, a period, a full stop to a comma, which will give me an extra column on one of these records. And the way the developers suggested I, I find that is by using this option here that says scan for additional fields, yes. And you'll see it's found this column four. So basically, I'm just going to send this out to a single output port. Basically what it's done is it's found that there is an extra record in one of these. I'm not getting any schema out of that, am I? Oh, okay, so th it's there. Uh, this is not. <sighs> See, the problem I want to, I want to make this generic. So that read all feature types. I'm trying to make this generic. I, I, I guess. Okay, so I'm I'm just going to go back because I'm blah blah blah. I'm doing. I'm sort of mumbling. So what I'm I want here is one output per feature type. So that's that. I'm going to hit the run button. CSV data comes up. And it's got this column four, which is missing in most cases. Um, but if I sort the data, you see here. So what I did, it said commercial drive stroke Kitchener Street, and I put commercial drive, comma, Kitchener Street. Uh, and it's shoved that over into a new column. And that's what it's done there. So I thought, well, uh, OK, I could check the data by looking for column four. But then I don't always know that that's going to be the number of columns I, I've got. I could have more columns or fewer columns in there. And if I wanted to make this generic and work on a whole bunch of data sets, then I can't really do that. So what I'm going to do is, but that, that's useful to know, I think. it's. I mean, it only works when you're creating the workspace, I think. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, I want to make this generic single output port, sort of makes it a dynamic thing, really. Yes. Um, let's see. So I've got that. So I'm going to run this again. Actually, one of the things I should expose on the generic port is CSV total number of columns. And I can see that down here. So we've got number of fields, number of columns. Number of fields basically means how many values have we got in here. So if there's 
10 columns, but only five of them have values, and that would be five. But the number of columns would be 10. And that's what I want to find out. Because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, does it have an odd number of columns in there? Now, what defines an odd number of columns? Like, just because uh, this data's got four columns, I don't know that that should be the what it, that's what it should be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a statistics calculator down and say, calculate on the total number of columns, find me the mode value, or the median the mo mode, isn't it? You want the most common one. So what's the most common number of columns in here? And I'm going to take that as being the actual true number of columns. So then I'm going to just put the tester on here and say, does the number of columns for this feature equal the number of columns or the most common number of columns? If yes, then it goes to, let's see, I'm going to add a junction on there. Insert a junction. So that's good and that's bad. So what I should find now is it's just a single record that's wrong. And if I look at that, it's the one where somehow I managed to get extra. So commercial, drive, comma, kitchen and street. And you can see it actually still has that call for thing. So I can um, now report that as being bad. Because that's what I want to do. I want to make a generic CSV validator um, custom transformer. So let's give that a shot. Custom transformer, I'm going to call it CSV valid data. And it's going to be uh, data quality or format specific. Let's go with data quality. I think you can, you can have multiple columns for a transformer, but not a custom transformer. We can only have one. I'm just going to put a rough uh, thing in there and click OK. I just realized I'm probably not going to get a published parameter for the source data, which is what I really need. So there just isn't one. Because it doesn't publish it by default in a feature reader the same way as it does in a regular reader. So I'm going to use that, create a new parameter change the prompt to CSV file or select CSV file. And if I go back here, there we go. So we can say, just change that to passed and we can change that to failed and come back to here and run that. And we should get all of those nice features pass and one of them fails. And if I change it to a different data set, the parking, uh, parking ticket one, then I did the same thing. I put an extra comma into one of those. So it should also find one bad record, I hope. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. So we've got one bad record in there and the rest are all good. It would be nice if we could have the attributes exposed on here. So what I'm going to... That's a good point. So what I'm going to do on this, because I want to make it generic, but at the same time we want to be able to read data and find out what the schema is. So what I'm going to do on here is put another feature reader down, connect that up, and this one is going to read the data as a text file. And it's going to use the same, uh, what are we looking for, user parameter, which was called file, that's quite imaginative. Um, output ports, on per feature type, that should be fine because it's all 
And let's see. Well, hopefully they would be the same number of records. So I should be able to... Do we get an ID number for the feature? Okay, so on reading CSV, we get CSV line number. So let's expose that as well. I, want, I need to do a join. CSV line number. I wonder if the text data has the same thing. I'm just going to have to run it and find out. You would expect. I should probably switch it back to the, uh, the other data set because it's got fewer records. It would be a bit quicker. Text line type, text line number. Yeah, that should be the same thing. Text line number, CSV line number. The only thing I'm not really sure about if it includes the header or not, which it probably does on here, on the text. So we want to use a sampler to get rid of the first one. And then a feature merger to copy that over. CSV line number and text line. You know, I need to expose text line number, I guess. But I can't do it unless it's in the generic. So I'm going to have to put that as an attribute exposer. I don't think I can expose it in the reader itself. What was it? Text line oops, number. If I could type, that would help. Text line number. There we go. So I'm hoping for a match there that should be now. The f I wonder if I'm going to have to check if it's reading the first line as line number one, or whether it's including the header. Yeah, I really should change this to um, that smaller data set, which was emergency and crime. Okay, I'm going to stop that because it's just taking too long and rerun. I mean, it's fine to run on that amount of data, but not when I'm trying to test something. Okay, so... Text line number is one, so one is the header. And on here, CSV line number is two. Okay, so fantastic, it did work correctly. It didn't include the header, which is great. So that should be line one, which we got rid of. And this is line two onwards. So that should have merged okay. And then we get the complete completed data. And we have the text line data, so I I should probably just rename that. Uh, let's see. I don't really want to keep the text line number, so I'm going to put an attribute manager down in here. And I'm going to say get rid of text line number, which we don't need. The geometry, I don't think we need that. We don't need, yeah, probably don't need that. We don't need the number of columns. We don't need the line number, or maybe we do. I'm just gonna, I wanted to rename this anyway to be CSV content. And I realize now I should do that before the tester, otherwise it's gonna be missing from the output that's bad. 
And then I realize I can't delete those columns yet because I need them. So I got to go back and do nothing. And that should sort that problem out. What I could do, I guess, is I could, I mean, really, I'm just making this transformer up. It could be anything. So what I could do is make a, um, a summary report like the statistics calculators got. So that was the bad record, total columns, total number of columns. Um, okay, so I'm going to rename some of those as well, actually. I'm going to rename that to um, record okay, number of columns in record. I'm going to call that expected number of columns. Still don't know what that geometry is. Probably coming from the merger which doesn't make any sense because I don't really want to merge geometry. This is attributes only. Huh. Um, uh, that's going to fail because of that. So we want to say is the number of columns equal to the expected number of columns. And then that will be output there. And yeah, I could put a summary output port in there. Like just... Uh, sample this data again I could just sample this data and say just get me the first record and that's my summary and that'll tell me the basics about that data set so I really don't need those junctions on there Uh, maybe I'll run that again because deleting that junction probably didn't help. There we go. One failed feature. Expected number of columns four, number of columns five. Um, <clears throat> this should say expected number of columns. And we can I can delete some of those as well. We don't really need those in there. So that can be another attribute manager, or I suppose we could just come in here and say, don't output those or something like that. Or I could rename it to be number of columns in data set. I could have number of incorrect records. I could do all sorts of things in here. But anyway, this is the, uh, what I wanted to just sort of demonstrate was, um, what I'm doing here with the CSV reading. The, uh, I wanted to demonstrate the, uh, where was it? Under the parameters, the scan for additional fields, which you can use to figure out if your data has gone a bit wonky inside, it's got extra uh, delimiter characters. So I'm gonna work on this a bit more. Maybe I'll take the uh, thing that comes in from the text reader as well and I can start scanning that and saying, well, how many delimiters are in here? Um, has it got any strange characters in there that would cause a problem? Uh, that sort of thing. So, um, yeah. So anyway, so that's just what I was wor I'm working on today. I won't carry on and record everything. Uh, I'll just sort of hold it at this point. And um, yeah, I expect to see this up on the hub uh, sometime in the uh, not too distant future. Okay. Thanks, folks. Have a great day.